Right, we're live. Let me. Oh man, I forgot to refresh this thing <laughs> and get the volume down. So let me refresh, get it set, and we will start the show. Okay, looks like looks like I'm good. I'm listening to my end. If you can see me, also uh, see me and hear me. Okay, we're gonna start, and let me go back. Uh, Menace, Vadi M, Divisor, Ryan, Carol, Bampino. Rob Ross sells, uh, Dabra Mento, eBay, Joey, what's up? Ernesto, Sneaker Finds 12, TDBS, Marketplace, and uh, Flipping Dollars, Elite Hustler, still kicking at sports. Uh, Vincent had a killer week. Uh, Fly Kicks, and who else? Zombies, Claude also here. Vincent, already said, <laughs> Doug the Pug, uh, District Deals, Mercurial Venom. How's everybody's uh, Wednesday? Walter and what Orsi crew? Quentin, uh, Lucky on Three Legs, uh, Riker Beach, Brian Fly Kicks, and Hustle and Muscle. What's up? And let's see who else. Lex on eBay, Ravens, Ron J, Keith, Faith Lopez, and Ezra reselling finds. More people coming in. Valley Kicks, Extra Grand. All right, let me. We have two opening segments, and I usually just like to, you know, nice little icebreaker, right, uh, before we start the show. So let me get that going and share screen, share screen, application window, and let's see if you can see. Uh, there we go. Keep glasses on. <laughs> and we found the first Hyper Venoms uh, yesterday. Congrats on that one. Uh, activate hustle mode. Um, are you getting Sakai waffles tomorrow? We're going to talk about that on the, on the releases, uh, thrift and flip. What's up, Eduardo? Um, all right. So how do you pay taxes? That's a good one. Um, <laughs> stock X and goat taxes. That's, that's, uh, why, why taxes so early right now? What a bummer. Um, <laughs> we'll get into that. Well, you know what? We'll answer that one at the end for the questions, but all right, iPhone 11 Pro and Pro Max. What do we think about iPhone? Um, I have no clue what kind of alien stuff is going on in here. Look at these cameras in the back. Um, the government, I mean, they definitely want to know what's going on, what you're recording, what you're looking at, and they're just going all out on this iPhone 11 Pro. If you're taking photos for eBay and uh, Mercari, things like that, then I really don't think you need a, such a high-tech camera. I think even some of your older phones will do the job. I don't think you even need um, any of this stuff anymore. Even when they announced it, I was like, is this really even something that you really want to pay that much for? I just, I don't know. Usually, iPhones got better and better. This one, a little disappointed. So Elite Hustler says trash. Um, I still got a flip phone, eBay Joey. Burner phone, eBay Joey. Nice. Fabian, what's up? Uh, wait till iPhone 11 hits Ross, 400 bucks, Doug the Pug, yeah, so this one, uh, what, Google Pixel Gang, why so many cameras, I have no clue. All right, our next opening topic, uh, let's see if you've seen this video or not. So, uh, we talk about football on here, last week football started, and uh, Dallas Cowboys against New York football giants, which Cowboys ended up winning, but... Uh, one of the main topics and main videos that uh, we saw was Demarcus Lawrence plays with the Cowboys walking in and a uh, young fan wearing a Barkley Giants jersey and hat wanted to get an autograph and asked him if he could sign a jersey. He had something in his hand, but if he can get an autograph and uh, Demarcus said, get the right jersey, bro. And of course, Twitter attacked him. And uh, you can go watch this video. Uh, I know nothing to do with the reselling, but we just want to open up the show. So, what do you think on uh, on this? Is he is he right? Should have he had just signed it, or should you be supporting the team? I mean, what's going on here? Uh, so on Twitter, he just defended himself. And here's the thing, though, I could see I could see both sides, right? Like he's just a kid, just sign it, get it over with go to the game. But I can also see the other side where it's like, hey, kid, like you're not going to get everything you want 
and this world is cruel. So everything that, <laughs> you know, when you go on in life, like what's going to happen later on? Like if you're trying to ask somebody out, like I remember asking a girl out, you have to actually during that time, call them, couldn't even text them, call them and their dad would answer. And a girl could say, I don't want to go out with you. And what's going to happen there? I mean, you get told no, you have to learn how to move on. So he put himself out there, asked for an autograph, got told no. Um, but Twitter defended the kid and uh, wouldn't be surprised if he gets a bunch of free stuff. Um, <laughs> all right. So let's get into the, uh, the show. Where are we? Okay. Word of the week. Uh, fees. Oh, let me see the comments. I don't even see. Take the L, kid. Um, let me see. Glenn, what about the Dolphins? We got uh, destroyed as planned. Um, let me see. Stop being a Miami fan. Go Chiefs. Uh, Ross Allington, what's up? Uh, let me see. Where are we? Why would he just sign other teams' jersey? There we go. Bro, moment. And hell not ask Eli to sign it. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. So, when's the next Ross vid? Um, I'm working on that. But I think the next one is Marshalls. I've kind of ignored Marshalls. And now, getting a Marshalls vid on the next one. Okay, so, word is fees. And the reason why we have fees this week is because uh, StockX had this running on Tuesday. 50% off seller fees for one day only cruel but not only that you had to read the fine print so uh, in the comments did you take advantage of this uh fee seller fee thing um why not if you did or you did not um so it says here a uh, minimum price of 150 dollars for streetwear or 200 dollars for sneakers handbags and watches in order to get 50% discount on your seller fee. So now it went down to, I think, 4%. And so it only ran for one day only, 7 p.m., uh, 7 a.m. Uh, Pacific time through midnight. So that was quick. That ended. Um, not worth it. Let me see. People were just dumping pairs. That's the interesting part, though, is that they had to be over $200, though. So even if you wanted to dump garbage pairs you couldn't because uh they had to be 200 bucks they had to be worth something um let me see east way to clear out the low ballers uh low ballers benefits exactly so that's one of the things that um that i noticed easily like once this got announced there were so many low ballers that just jumped in and crashed the prices on a lot of things just to you know get this four percent clearly not worth it might as well just wait it out um and sell it to the right buyer i mean four percent is that gonna make a huge difference or not uh but i would like to see ebay try a couple of things like why not 75 percent seller fees and not only for a day like three days like a full weekend like ebay needs to work out some stuff i think that'd be cool people would definitely work on that and then um they're gonna make money anyway so Vincent said, cancel my StockX account. Don't trust them. Sneaker Finds 12 also does not trust them. Yes, they have been getting hacked. And I've been noticing a lot of password changes. And it is getting annoying. All right. Let's go to weekend releases. And somebody uh, mentioned the Sakai Waffle. So these are coming out at 160 and comes out tomorrow, September 12th, 10 a.m., and uh, sneakers app and other select retailers. So smash or pass for the collection or to resell on the waffles and different colors. Looks like uh, green, a little orange, pink. There's a lot of stuff going on uh, with this shoe as far as design and color. So 90s couch to elves, uh, cop every pair possible. Let me see, selling low ballers to get <laughs> the part of their old island and set on fire, pass. Uh, today's my birthday smash for the resale. Happy birthday, hustle in silence. Let's see, smash. There we go. Pass that ass from Thrift and Flip. Let's see, wife says smash and waiting for weeks. All right, so Sakai, definite, I would say definite smash 160. But remember, this is going through Sneakers app, so we know good luck. Next one. 
And uh, Undefeated is not done with the Kobe 4. So Kobe 4 Pro Cho Black Mamba. Price $180 and comes out Friday, September 13th. Sneakers app and select retailers. So following the initial four shoe collection that released on Kobe Bryant Day in late August, Undefeated returns with another colorway of the Nike 4 Pro Cho Black Mamba. So Bryant's nickname with black uh, upper, and we know we clearly saw this. So smash or pass uh, for the Kobe's and pass. Let's see. Gabriel says, I need this smash for the Kobe's. Looks good, but hella overpriced. 180 uh, super smash. Let's see. Resale going to be nice. Pass found some others uh, back while no lid. Those are terrible. Reseller is terrible. <laughs> and then uh, Jimmy says pass. Uh, Incognito, what's up? And a still kicking at sports also says pass. So, uh, yeah, this one uh, we're gonna see. I think also another Kobe 4 coming out um, in December. So, we'll see that one. Let's see, go to the next one Nike Adapt Hirachi. So, uh, of course, auto lacing $350 comes out on Friday. September 13th, 10 a.m. Sneakers app and select retailers. Now, when I first saw, saw the shoe and even seen this photo, I was like, eh, I don't know how I feel about it. And then when I did see them in hand on feet, people wearing them, um, I was like, you know what? I kind of like this Hirachi, like the Daft Hirachi. It actually looks pretty cool, but I don't know how well they're going to resell. So smash or pass for resell or for the collection. I think collection... I think they're fire, but would you would you spend three fifty? Maybe, maybe not. Totally up to you. Uh, they remind me of a banana sneaker finds twelve bricks, ugly but dope with lacing system. Pass. Uh, what do you think about Jordan three Knicks? We're gonna get into that one as well. And personally, I think that one will be at the outlets. I think uh, DFW says bricks on this one, so three fifty for the Adapt Hirachi, and I think they have. Is it a different color? Oh, no. I thought there was a different color. Maybe it's not coming out until later. But uh, this one, the yellow one, will be out. Okay, next shoe. Uh, John Elliott and Nike LeBron Icon Collection. So 250 retail. Sneakers app as well on Friday. Sneakers app being busy on Friday and Saturday. So more colors of the LeBron Icon releasing. This one, all white, summit white. And I think there's a beige, so parachute beige and tulip pink options. 250 smash or pass. And I think LeBron was wearing the pink one uh, not too long ago. So there you go. There's the white one and there is the pink one. This shoe looks like, like if you saw this shoe at Burlington, you'd probably just be like, that's, I'm just going to pass over it. Like I'm not, I probably wouldn't even look it up. Uh, look at the comps. It just looks like a plain shoe. And even... Maybe the only thing you could even tell that it was a Nike shoe was the air bubble unit it goes all the way around here. And other than that, you're probably like, eh, oh, well. Yeah, this LeBron, not feeling it. But John Elliott's last LeBron collection was a bust. That's from uh, Ku Kicks. Let's see, pink has an L on it. <laughs> At least an L you can see. Uh, let me see. Retail way too high. Pass. Mile High Hustle. What's up? And Dapper Fanatic. Let's see. I like the black Elliot LeBron, but not these. No swoosh, no love. So, yeah, these definite bricks, I would think. So that one, and here's the what? Parachute beige. It's even uglier than the, than the pink one, I think. All right, let's go to next one. Jordan 3, Knicks. So I need to know. Smash or pass for the collection or to resell. This is important. Jordan 3, which... A very fine silhouette. But New York Knicks. Uh, <laughs> price 190 comes out on Saturday, September 4th, 10 a.m. Sneakers app and other select retailers. Um, they should be highly GR, I would say. Uh, smash for the collection. Jordan hated the Knicks. Uh, pass what resell st <laughs> Starbreeze and the other one. Smash for personal. Uh, they're going to hit outlets. Pass, pass, and pass. And, um, hmm, I think really thinking about it, I say they're going to the outlets. I don't see them doing that well. I don't think they're a bad color combo, but I just don't see it. 
I mean, I can see them at the outlets with like Jordan 5 Laney or like um, Jordan 3 Chlorophyll or something. I mean, it could happen. Uh, Knicks fans aren't morally allowed to like Jordan. That's what I kind of thought too. I kind of surprised when I see Knicks fans rocking Jordan stuff because I'm like, that's kind of like me wearing Patriots, like Brady stuff. It's like, yeah, I'm a Dolphins fan, but Brady's just so good that I'm just going to rock a Brady jersey. It just doesn't make sense. Um, it's almost like being out wearing a giant sparkly jersey and asking Demarcus Lawrence for an autograph. I just don't see it. So, Jordan 3, Knicks 190. Is that it? Was there another one? Oh, we're not done. Supreme Nike Dunk Low again. So, comes out uh, Saturday, September 14th. They're giving you a chance on the Sneakers app. So, we know Sneakers app, at least for me, doesn't work very well. I can try, but they're giving you another shot at Supreme Nike SB Dunk Low. And I think the red and white one... Well, the black and, and silver one also, both of them selling higher. Uh, but the black and gold one, I think, is the least out of the three selling. So uh, go for the uh, white and red one. You're going to make big money, assuming you actually get one and in a good size. So Saturday, September 14th, price 110. And MC Smash, someone get me a nine. Uh, Hulk smash, big L coming. Def I know I'm getting that big L. Sneakers app, I haven't got anything in. It might have been earlier this year, if that. No, I think it was late last year. I'm trying to check here on the phone. It's It's been ridiculous. Uh, let me see. Supreme overexposed. People will still pay for it, though. Definitely, they'll put their hard-earned money for Supreme and a heat for resale. All right. And what's our next one? Let me see. Next one is, oh yeah, store updates. So we have quite a bit of store updates. I was kind of surprised. Store updates, Miami, Florida in the chat. Who's from Miami or Miami area? And this one came out on what, two days ago. So Ross will open a new store in Miami on October 12th. So mark that in your calendar. If you're in Miami, you're in South Beach area. 27,000 square foot store is located at shops at Beacon Lakes, northwest corner of Florida Turnpike Extension. So there we go. Ross and double check, triple check, maybe a soft opening, maybe not. I have no clue. But all the new stores, you definitely got to hit up. So Patrick, there we go. Uh, Miami, Florida for that one. Next one is... Memphis. So Memphis, uh, Juicy Crab Ross, Five Below will open East Memphis Eastgate Shopping Center. So I don't know when that one's going to open, but look out for that too if you're in this area. Next one is Georgia. So Home Goods Marshalls to open next week at, oh, next week, because it's quick. Uh, opening tomorrow. So this is an article from last week. It's actually opening tomorrow. A brand new Marshalls in Macon, Georgia, if I said that right. Did I say that right? Macon? Might as well just call it Bacon. Bacon, Georgia. Uh, it's opening Marshalls and Home Goods, and this will open tomorrow at 8 a.m. You better be there. Better be in line. Better be the first one there if you're in this area. At least Atlanta. This is like uh, deeper south Atlanta. It's going to take a while, but at least you're in the area. Go to that. All right, next one is Burlington and Home Goods to open in Salisbury. And I think this is uh, North Carolina when I did my research. I was like, where is this? So 35,000 square feet, while the Home Goods store will be roughly 22,000 square feet. And that one, they're barely developing. This is going to take some time, but at least you know they are getting a new Burlington. So have a Pino, what's up? All right, and last one, we have opening date for Tom's River. So I think this is Jersey, right? Did we talk about this, Jersey? Uh, Burlington, old site of Toys R Us on Hooper Avenue. This one is ready to launch. This will open October 4th. So we got about two and a half, three weeks. Be ready for that one. Burlington's are always good. Like right when they open, you definitely want to go to Burlington then uh, Ross and Marshalls. So hit up that one. This is going to be really, really good. Burlington, hopefully 
some Vapor Max, some Vapor Max Plus, something, maybe some high end cleats, and you'll be rewarded. But you have to go and put in the effort. So there we go. And district deals, Jane in the house, friends and family for extra discount from Gabe for sure. So, oh man, giveaway already? I thought uh, I thought I was gonna wait a while on this. All right, giveaway time. I can't argue with the slideshow. It knows it knows what's up, and we're on time. So, on to the giveaway. Burlington gift card. Since uh, Burlington apparently have some grand openings coming up, Burlington has been treating us very very well. So thirty dollars for Burlington. I'm gonna make this easy. It's not gonna be like one two three four. This is not gonna be. Um, <laughs> this is not going to be a combo of things and you have to look it up. Uh, I don't even know. I might be giving away an answer here. So I got to double check. I don't even know. Okay. I can't, I can't, I can't look at that. Hold on. Let me get, let me get ready. Stop screen. Make sure I didn't put the answer in the next one. Okay. No, I didn't. <laughs> I thought I did. Okay. Ready for here. Here's a question. In uh, three, two, one, share screen and application window. Okay, making it super easy for you. What year was Burlington founded? That's all I need to know. A year, 19 what? Look, half the answer's already done. What year was Burlington founded? Easy, easy answer. And 30 bucks to Burlington. I mean, all we need is the year. Man, <laughs> so many answers coming in. Uh, let me see who was first. Uh, let me go back up. I'm going to read them. If they're not right, then who knows what the next one is. And let me see. Jake can't win. No, he can't win. Um, Dapper Fanatic also cannot win. I have his get, uh, gift card here because he won the last one. So uh, 1934, Brian, no. 1983, no. 1939, no. 2003, no. 1963, 1977, no, no. 1994, no. 1982, no. Uh, man, 1984, no, no. 1987, 1980, Doug the Pug, 97, no. No one's got it right yet. 1995, no. 96, no. 1874, no. Uh, um, eBay Joey, more answers. I don't know why it's trying to block some of these answers, but I'm trying to show them all. Uh, no one's gotten it right on here. Let's see, 97, 98, 18, 1877, no, 1945. Whew, man, this is taking, I thought it was going to be the easiest one. 1979, 1976, no, 1989, 1915, no. And Jaime, at 1972, was the first answer I can see on here that uh, actually got that one right. So... Um, let me see if I can, I can't screen share, right? But Jaime won 1972. He was right after Nicholas and Kermit. So Kermit had 1989, Nicholas said 1915, Jaime said 1972. So you have won the, uh, $30 to Burlington. So man, 1972, what a great year. Burlington was founded and the Miami Dolphins perfect season and won the Super Bowl in 72. So I had to uh, figure out something to, uh, he Googled, <laughs> heck, I would even Google for that one. Uh, but hey, 72, Burlington, and you have won. So there we go. <laughs> okay, let's get into the uh, Glen was four. I wasn't even, I wasn't even alive. I was, wait, 72. <laughs> All right, let's go to, I was a negative one, 72, Jaime, Dolphins only good season, laces out, let me see, Dolphins 2019, Hustler Hex Fantasy Football, oh, still kicking it sports, who I'm playing this week, still kicking it sports, we should get a side bet, and I think you have some Air Max 90 Biotech that I'm very interested in, so um, we'll figure something out, Larry Zanka, there we go. <laughs> All right, last week we had Ultra Boost. That was the only thing Didi's discounts. This week we don't have anything. Didi's discounts, no one tagged us on anything. Uh, TJ Max, Marshalls, Burlington, and Ross at number one. Okay, so let's get into this. Actually, we got way more TJ Max 
nothing from Didi's discounts. So we're leaving them at one star. And then uh, TJ Maxx, two and a half. So we saw, we saw the USA luggage and some jerseys. So let's get into it. CNJ Enterprises. Uh, Pharrell at TJ Maxx. So I don't know. Was this $50? I don't know what the retail is. I can barely see it. Let me see if I can. Oh, there you go. 120 was for that one. Uh, pretty cool design. Multicolor. And 50, though a size small. Tax to the max at TJ Maxx. Next one, we have uh, Gill Steals and Deals and CNJ Enterprises. So apparently the only thing they had uh, were some different Vandal, Floral, and Air Force One type of stuff. So $50 and $39 for that one. And women's section, only thing that people have been finding, at least around here. Next one, Carolina Kicks and Flippin' Dollars. Really, really good finds on both of them. And... Let's see, Jordan jersey fully sewn, $40. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Carolina Kicks scoring on those. Flipping dollars with a Nike Lab ACG backpack. Down on clearance, yellow tag, $39. Selling for $149, $139 range. Uh, so that one is super steal. And I don't I don't think there's any other uh, football gloves anymore. So Sneaker Finds 12, anybody else finding receiver gloves? I don't think so. We didn't get tagged on uh, any gloves this week. So I'm pretty surprised, okay? Uh, shoe Finds, flipping dollars. Extra 15, looking for thrifts and e-com lifestyle. All five of them. Team USA luggage now are they the same are they different let's look at them both of the handles so this one's definitely different this one looks like this one these are different so we have the two handles on here that one is probably the cheaper one and so smash or pass here's for the collection though collection or to resell though smash or pass for the nike team usa luggage and i know more and more people have been finding them I think people are also saying it's like a mini flood. Um, some people passing, some people interested, but uh, I haven't seen it in my area. Then again, I only have two TJ Maxx. Flipping Dollar says flood. Nate says pass. Kevin, pass. Smash for the collection. Half a Pino, pass. Hold, pass. Haven't seen any collection. Yes, from Hustle Crow, and haven't seen any from Robert. So interesting. But I do like the uh, the bigger bag. I think that's pretty cool. I can't see the price, though. I think they're $100. And we're done. TJ Maxx, man, what happened? <laughs> um, I guess that was it. No football gloves at all. And maybe they're done. And let's see. Pretty sure I would look stupid pulling in Olympic suitcase through an airport. Mile high hustle. They're like, did you play in the Olympics? Especially, you know what? I don't want to talk about Team USA basketball. Losing out here. Uh, smash and a smash on the markdown. Definitely. That's interesting enough. Could go down red tag, yellow tag. Maybe then you want to scoop them up. So Marshall's at number three, foam posits, jerseys, and Timberlands are now in here. Air Max ones as well. Marshall's I also feel has really fallen. I think in general, all five stores have uh, fallen a little bit compared to maybe about a month ago, month, month and a half ago. Remember Marshalls, we had you know a bunch of the Kobe 11s coming out, more Vapor Max utility. In this case, Marshalls really, really drying up. Uh, let's see. Fabes Finds and uh, Beastie Boy, Sneaky Hustler, and Gill Stills and Deals. So uh, Gills and Beastie Boy, both with Adidas jackets. I believe Pharrell for both of them, $60. Retails for $250 on this one. Uh, would have kept my size for the collection, but I'll give it a test run, see if it sells with cooler weather coming soon. This one was, I think, a mountaineering Adidas jacket. And then here, Sneaky Hustler with Project Rock shorts. And I can't see the price, but it looks like he picked up about 10 of them all in a row. Uh, still gloves found Jacksonville, but mediums. I have six pairs of Ross foam posits. Uh, let me see. Famous Maker, <laughs> My High Hustle, My Marshall Sucks, Russell, uh, 
Hustle Crow, sorry, and uh, Hyper Dunks for the low for Doug the Pug. I did see some Hyper Dunks in like an olive green gum bottom. I think they went down on clearance to like 25. Uh, Stevie D says 20 bucks on the shorts. So, okay, next one Martino finds an electric relish and the Air Max Hunter. Now, Air Max Hunter, uh, $59. And here's the thing though. I would think with a Flyknit Racer multicolor, especially if uh, black and white, this one being a multicolor, definitely scoop those up. Now that Flyknit uh, Racer doesn't exist anymore, didn't they go with Flyknit? What was the new one that they called it? I don't think it was Mariah, was it? Or maybe it was something else. But now they don't exist, so people are definitely going to be looking for these. I did see some, um, even at the swap meet, brand new without box, selling like 140 150 160 so people definitely want to pick those up. Uh, $59 for some fry boots right here. And I think Martino Fines was asking uh, Smash or Pass on fry. Now, fry, high end, but 59 also depends on, I don't know, I guess like the model and the size. I'm not really even too familiar, especially with like ladies boots. So I can see myself uh, just getting screwed over. But fry, high end. And then $20 for the powerlifting shoes that District Deals also found in his area. And they are ready for Christmas. So next one, Mr. Sports LA, what's up? Dapper Fanatic, Air Max Hunter, and Jasper the Husser both, or actually all three of them uh, with really good finds. Now, Beavis and Butthead, I think that's an automatic cop. I mean, for the collection, definitely automatic. And to resell, I think they're $39, right? Uh, 39 bucks. And they can't pass up two for personal cop. Yeah, definitely got to get that one. And then for Adidas, uh, I don't know what that model is. Looks like Captain America, though. Is it kids? No, actually looks like men's, 10 and 11. And then we have some Ultra Boost here, $80 in kind of like a, a neon volt, soft volt with white. All right. Hustle bin thrifting together. Uh, with both of these finds. So look at these Timberlands. Smash or pass, collection or to resell for Timberlands. I need to know in the chat. Maybe it depends on the style or the team. So uh, New York Knicks, $80 right here in blue. And then a $70 for, so 80 for here, 70 here for a different teams. Looks like classic logos classic nah, maybe a little bit late 80s 90s on the logos nba so windy city bulls pacers uh, 76ers on there magic you go to this one bullets the old nets logo so a little mix that supreme is also done too uh would you rock these i don't know let me see all these tims uh, i can't even see that one uh, Knicks and Chicago Tims all over NYC from Vincent. Uh, I got the Oliver print on mine for 59. Doug the Pug collection for Lakers. L uh, Trash Alexander. Uh, let me see. Resale pass on the Bulls pair. Uh, Knicks Tims. Oh man, <laughs> from Gabriel. Uh, yeah, I can definitely see. Once it starts getting colder and colder, the Tims start coming out. Uh, let me see, Fugly, flip-flops all day, and let me see, picked up Ultra Boost Red Tag, 59, Faith Lopez, very nice, and what else, smash on the next one, orange and blue is my colors, uh, to heavy cement shoes, half a Pinot, when are we going to see some off-white Tims, and Kevin says, nope, can't do it, so there we go, <laughs> interesting take, people with the Timberland, some people scooping them up, some people living it behind, uh, so I thought that was pretty interesting though. Next one, Super Steels, Electric uh, Relish and old B6607. So Jordan jerseys again, North Carolina, fully sewn, $39. Retail is, I believe, $130, I think. And this jersey fits kind of weird. I did see this jersey... Uh, about a year ago when me and uh, Ken went to D.C., I think, to that outlet. And they did have my size, tried wearing it. It felt a little weird, though. Like, not cheap, because it is it is good, but different than other jerseys. I don't know. 
I actually, actually don't even know why they even hit Marshalls. Um, because I would think Jordan, North Carolina, people want to pick them up. I guess it's not the case. Oh, here we go. Retail 150. So 39 bucks and picked up medium home and away jerseys. Next one, good batch store and 760 cleater. So 760 has $25 soccer jerseys, all Adidas, and then good batch has $30 for uh, the Nike, what, Oklahoma uh, jersey. So college jersey, size XL, 30 bucks. Next one, uh, Beastie Boy. Oh, here's the thing. Beastie Boy and Who Pays Retail. So foam posits, easy money, either one of these because we're getting them brand new with box. But Beastie Boy had to take it to another level uh, by scooping up the Atmos Air Max 1. And looks like he got them right when they restocked. So $40 and easy, easy money. I'm surprised they're back. We When did we see these? Two or three months ago? Um, and now they're back. Second round. They're back for more. Uh, so congrats, Beastie Boy, for finding that one. And uh, Gabriel says, second time I found Atmos. So this is crazy. Uh, what Sneaker Finds told said in May. If they're back for more, we're, uh, we're all for it. If we can find them. I cannot find any of that kind of stuff in my area. And I think that was it for Marshalls. Yep, that's it. Uh, Ross at number two, so they fell again. Ross and Burlington, they've been back at it, back and forth. Who can top one another? Now, the reason why I gave Ross, I think, number two was because all we could really find now, it looks like, is just Vapor Max. Like, nothing else, uh, you know, nothing else out there. At least with Burlington, we get a mix of things. Uh, but a lot of Vapor Max 2019, so let's get into it. Smooth Sailing. And uh, Iceman, Yo20, Souls and Stitches, Breezy Finds, Souls and Stitches again, Project Rock shirt, this one, $17. Check out this high-end Jordan jacket, Breezy Finds, and then Eli Manning, Salute to Service. And how many Wentz jerseys are out there for uh, Eagle, Salute to Service, and looks like picked up, what, three or four of them, and then Canucks hoodie. NHL stuff coming back too. Who knows? I remember we found um, some hoodies for ten dollars, and that was, um, I think, late last year. So maybe NHL look out for that. Next one, Don Alpha Cleat and uh, Missa, aka Flacco, is also here and flipping dollars. So seven twenties, fifty five dollars. I don't know what the price is for e either one of these. I'm guessing they're around the same. And the different, so kind of like a purple gradient into pink goes um, all through here. This one also a black gradient, black and gray a little bit. 720 though, 55. Definitely pick those up. Size nine and a half for this one. Gummy Worm 720s. Hustle Bin, Smooth Sailing, and TDBS Marketplace, all three of them. Here's the question Smash or Pass for. The Olympic Team Polo 2018 boots. And keep in mind, they are $99. So almost 100 bucks right there plus tax. You're looking at 105 108 depends where you live. And uh, TDBS says comps listed as low as 179 as high as $1,200. Only one sold for 220 So... Maybe the 1200 money laundering, maybe, maybe not, but a 220 and listed as low as 179. You're already going in at a hundred with these. Uh, let me see. Uh, where are these when you're pulling in with the suitcase? Uh, wow, high hustle for sure. Rock these with the suitcase, all Team USA, all day. Pass purple tag. And let's see, they were selling 200, 300 during Olympics. That's some district deals. I passed a few times. Uh, clearance tag buy with my Team USA luggage, extra grands. <laughs> Those boots are too much. Uh, found three and left three. Dug the pug, pass and pass. Uh, so, man, looks like people have, I haven't seen them in my area. Nobody in El Paso wears boots like this. We're actually still pretty hot out here. Um, but hey, if you find these, maybe they go down to clearance 79, maybe 69. 
we'll see. Let's see, left him. From uh, Still Kicking It Sports. Okay, flipping dollars and Electric Relish and Hustle Crow and uh, Your Soul Resell. So this one's Superfly, 4% and $55. Found a size six. I found a size six and a half. And no one, well, no one's bought them yet. This one, flipping dollars with the dunks. This is actually pretty cool. Like a Galaxy Dunk at $40. Pretty cool. Electric Relish and a bunch of North Carolina. So UNC free trainers, $42. And he's asking, is this a flood? And I say no, because my, only, my uh, Ross only has TCU for some weird reason. TCU trainers, and that's it. There's no UNC or North Carolina, so maybe those would sell. Maybe they won't. I don't know. I don't really know how popular the trainer is, but 42 bucks, and then Hustle Crow with the Air Max 97 at $55. So UNC trainers all over uh, UNC. So there you go. Maybe there is a flood, maybe in that area, of course. Okay, Jasper the Hustler, and found two of them with the, uh, what is it, $65 for the Legacy. Two different colors, this one like a black cement, and this one like a white cement all the way around, which, I don't know, that's kind of a weird one. Looks like there's another, another one there, $65, they're cheaper at the outlets, and you get the brand new box. So I think Ross is going to hold on to these. For several months. I don't see people picking these up. Um, unless they just don't even know. That every single outlet has them. So that could happen. Casey the cleats guy mixing it up. Air Max 97's. Also had some foam posits. Some 270's. This one's going to be an easy sell. So nice little finds there. And the uh, Spizike Black Cement. For kids I believe. Size 5. At $40. Um, you can't be wearing those, laugh out loud. Kevin, um, they should be made out of real cement and thrown in a lake. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, these these are brutal. And I'm pretty sure every Ross is going to get so many of these. Next one, Daily Hustle. And DRN sells, undercover reseller, and 760 cleater. Uh, so 270s, a different feel to the 270s. And then 270s all the way around, I guess, for everybody, except for these foam posits, which that one we definitely want to pick up. I can't see the price. I think it's $60, but 270s and foams. So nice finds there. Let's keep going. SoCal Flipper finds 270s and some dunks. 270 activate hustle mode. Sneaky hustler with a, uh, whoa, Vapor Max Plus in the wild. And uh, Ross Shallington. On his nice, easy little lunch break and picks up Vapor Max 270s like nothing. Uh, let's see what the wish I had a Ross a sneaker finds 12. Alan, what's up? 270s still selling? ROI question mark. That's a good question. So, what about 270s? Maybe not this one, but this one for sure. Uh, I think we talked about this the last two weeks of how many of them have been out there. Are they still selling? That's uh, from Patrick. What's the ROI on those? Uh, Rich getting richer from Doug the Pug for Ross Shallington. Still killing it every day, all day, every day. Next one we have Don Alpha Cleat, which also every week killing it. Mile High Hustle, Jasper the Hustler, and Soul Town Kicks. Soul Town Kicks, two of the Vapor Max Fly Knit. And I definitely like this one right here, the red and black one. This one, Vapor Max 2019 in white and red. Mile High Hustle, congrats. Uh, three pairs of foam posits. I think two kids. Is this one a men's or kids two? Uh, I haven't seen this one, so I have no clue. Uh, I did see this one randomly at the swap meet. I have no clue why. And uh, $40, and you still should be able to sell those, what, $125 to $145. Um, I would say, even though they are kids, at least the color isn't bad. Foam Posit Pro. Next one, we have Jasper the Hustler again. Undercover reseller, the Air Max Hunter, and Chris Ramos 360. Man, this colorway is sick. This, like, Oreo black and... 
Easy money on these, but I think for the collection, though, you probably have to keep them. I mean, look at these beauties. Uh, three pairs out there, people scooping them up, size nine and a half, and they are $65. Uh, the blue one, didn't District Deals find this one in Burlington, and we thought it could have been fake. <laughs> this color is kind of weird to me. Uh, kind of like an off-white with blue. Not the brand, but you get it. Air Max Hunter, Chris Ramos, steals with uh, Vapor Max. How did that Black Vapor Max end up at Burlington? Um, which one? I think right now we're just doing Ross. But who knows? Maybe there is another one at Burlington. It's Ugly Dug the Pug. Um, okay, Bat, what's up? Smash, bunches come in. All right. And look at this. Red Vapor Max Utility. Half a Pino. Uh, Hustle Don't Stop, Mr. Stillier Finds, Martino Finds, Ghost Collector, A7 Resales, and Flip the Script. All of them with the red at VaporMax Utility. Now, here's the question. Smash or pass for this shoe. Collection order resale, you tell me. The price was 70 Man, 70 bucks. Yeah, 70 bucks for this one. Um, let me see... Pass and L smash sizes. Uh, I don't know. Can't really tell on here what which ones are which. I guess we'd have to go through uh, each of them and see. Um, I had rock those, picked up a size 14, took the risk. I want, let's see, I want these from Ion. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like the color combo. Pass, smash uh, for the collection, definitely. Half a Pino says his was a size 14. So there's the half a Pino right here. Uh, Smash, dang, only paid 59 from Patrick, so nice. Uh, Smash at 59. Um, we got size 12, dreaded size 12. I like size 12. Uh, Smash in the right sizes, and Kevin says pass. Sold a pair for 180 on GOAT from Ricky. Congrats on that one. And uh, sold pairs for 300 in July before the flood from Zombries, size 14. Man, picked up 11 and a half. And uh, let me see, does it come with hand and watch? Smash both, smash every size you find, send them to me, district deals. Uh, so that's interesting though, that some people did find them at 59, some people at 69. So we know how Ross is. They don't have to make sense all the time. They just price stuff. We have no clue why some people have to pay more than others. Maybe it depends on your area. <laughs> Ross doesn't even know. So how can we answer that question? Okay, so uh, what are these called? Uh, Vapor Max Utility and Mile High Hustle. This is the price that we know and love, and we can definitely get behind. $39. That's what I like to see. $39 bucks for these. And here's another one. That black one sells great. That one's an easy pickup. And look at that price $54 for uh, Dr. Chow Flips. So why is it cheaper? I don't know. Why is this one cheaper? We don't know. And Air Max 95 also in there. Two cool cat finds, two 70s, and the up tempos, $50. And another up tempo that we haven't seen before looks very similar to the other silver up tempo, but this one looks like a clear bottom. Um, but yeah, what is that? $50. Uh, price match, <laughs> laugh out loud. Uh, wow, 39 bucks. Yeah, Mile High Hustle is here in the chat. So, congrats on that one. 40 bucks. And did you find any more? You can let us know. I found those up tempos yesterday, half a Pino. Very nice. Uh, they're women's up tempo. And this one, utility, we talked about that one. Up tempos seem to move slow. I guess it depends also on the uh, color because how many up tempos have we seen? Looks like women are getting way more up tempos than men. And it is by season when they get them. Same shoe arrives two months later. One can be purple tag, one regular price. Uh, Mile High Hustle, just one pair. And uh, there we go. Uh, SNR must process them drunk for 39. <laughs> Not only that, they took a, they actually went to the sales floor. So hey, 39. Now we get into the cart finds and the handful finds. TBS Marketplace, two pairs of the red and black uh, Chicago up tempos. $35, easy buy on these. 
Looks like uh, two or three pairs. And then Ronzo's 15. So the same up tempo we saw before. This one we saw a couple of months ago. Foam posits and 270s. Optimal kicks, 270s. Air Max 95. And the red up tempos. I think this one, look out for this up tempo. Um, you should be making easy money if you can find them. And 30, $34. Man. Red and black haven't seen those at Raw since 2017, Zombies. That is true. Because I do remember them a long, long time ago. Like, way, way while back. But if they're back for round two, just like the Atmos from Marshalls, I'm all for it. Chicago colorway half a Pino for sure, 35 bucks. All right, that rounded off our Ross finds Burlington number one. So we had to do Burlington gift card with Burlington being number one this week. And we should wrap this up. So here's the first one, which I wanted to talk about. Mile High Hustle. Uh, fake Vapor Max at Burlington, question mark, $55. And here's the thing. So are they fake? Looking at the photos that he supplied, I can tell you, yes, they are fake. How did they get to Burlington? It's easy. Someone returned them. And how did they return them? We can also tell. Look at this price tag, $55 and a pure platinum color, different style code, size 13. These aren't even any of that. This one is actually size 12, and the tag is really, really bad. Uh, I can only imagine, too, holding these in person that the, I don't know, they're just, you know, they're going to feel cheap and probably different than, than some of the other you know, utilities that you've picked up from Ross and other stores, you can tell the difference. But for me, the inside tag, dead giveaway. So they don't care at all, Burlington. They barely look at returns. That's from Robert. Someone got finessed. <laughs> uh, Super Mad 5000. Damn, let me see. Uh, yeah, exactly. Someone returned it from Robert. And um, so, yeah, this one, this one is bad. And throwing this one out there as well. So my Nike outlet, I actually found a fake on the back wall. So people are really going all out to get extra money by returning one-offs at Burlington Ross and even Nike outlet. I'm going to see if I find that photo though. They were a Air Max 97 plus and I was, uh, I was looking at them like, hey, it's a pretty good deal. I can use you know, my extra 50 off for MVP. And as soon as I grabbed them, I was like, something doesn't seem right here. Like I could tell the, the material is off and let me see if I can get off of this real quick and just show you guys. Uh, let's see, we'll remove some screen. Okay. So here was the uh, Vapor, I mean the uh, Air Max 97 plus. And so what I like to do if I don't, I do this at swap meets too. If I don't think something's right, um, I'll take the photo with the reflection to see and double check. So here it is doing the reflection test uh, with my phone. And you can see, so two of them, you can see a reflection and the last little stripe, there is none. So it doesn't reflect. And this one, you could see it a little bit better. And uh, sure enough, I mean, talk to the manager. I told him, I was like, I don't know what happened here. No, but this one is a clear fake. And he was like, yeah, this one was a return from some lady that I think returned it uh, two or three days ago. And man, <laughs> Nike got finessed on that one. Okay, so just to bring that one up, good thing uh, Mile High Hustle and tagging us on that one. I thought it was pretty interesting enough, uh, but people do this. Uh, off and on. So Dapper Fanatic, uh, Maximo Finds, and Super 6-4. Smash or pass for PG NASA backpack. Um, people were saying it's been a little flooded. People have been passing on them now. People want them for the collection. They are $50. Johnny, 10 bucks. Super chat. Hustler Hacks killing it. I appreciate the super chat. Uh, we haven't had super chat in like three weeks, but Johnny, 10 bucks feeling generous. And we could definitely use that for uh, the giveaways so we can 
Uh, build the giveaways up for next week. Add an extra 10. So thanks for that. Let me see. Ugly pass and pass. Caught for the collection, but pass for resale. Talking about the uh, PG NASA. Mine came from Super 6-4. <laughs> there we go. Uh, pass. Sold one. Have two left. Flipping dollars. So someone wanted me to send them just the flight tag on the inner pocket. <laughs> <laughs> really just that these dudes are wild all right this one hustle bin and hustle crow drizzy finds and ron 23 sells everybody alexander wing adidas at burlington for 40 dollars um so red one the beige one the black one the black one though at the very bottom drizzy finds is a uh, awb ball low so different than some of the hiking ones that are out here um so 175 people watching, 31 likes. Hit that thumbs up. I appreciate that. Still kicking it sports. Um, thumbs up for the video. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, Patrick showing that Miami love. $5 on Super Chat. Thank you as well. Fins up. Go Dolphins. And go Tua. Round number one. Pick number one for next year's draft. Picked up uh, the Black Alexander Wing yesterday from TBS. And Alexander Wang's been everywhere. Sneaker finds 12. Next one is still kicking at sports. A uh, good batch store for two finds and Carolina kicks. And so we have Dornbecker. We have high-end cleats. We have football cleats. And we have Air Max 95. And this one, Air Max 95, Dave White. Interesting. Haven't seen that one before. Everyone is marked up high, but just one sold. So how much? Interesting question. And the football untouchable three elite. And of course, Dornbecker and the cleats. So 34 and 39. There you go. QB go fund me for dolphins. <laughs> well, I uh, grabbed those Dornbecker yesterday for myself. Size eight and a half. Nice. Uh, speaking of Dornbecker, we have another one, two seventies. And then we have Air Max, what, 97 plus? No, wait. Air Max plus. 98, I don't even know. And then 97 and 95. So Carhartt 95, Dolphins 97, and Dolphins found probably looking at adding to the collection. Hustler Hacks might want this, but a little big, I think. Yeah, 97 Dolphins. Interesting. And 270s, and there we go. Next one, Dornbecker again. So, man, I guess the Dornbecker line... Didn't do that great for this one uh, because all of the shoes, at least these last three of them that we saw, are all from the that one year's line. So this one being the Survivor 97s in uh, purple and black, the price $55. Air Max 97s also here as well. Carolina Kicks and Incognito Retail Resellman. So Brizzy Finds, DZ Toy Box, and Souls and Stitches. For the 97 Dornbecker. Now we're getting into some cart finds. And a Hustle Don't Stop 81. So 270s. Vapor Max. More Vapor Max back there. Some 95s. You know, kind of like a camo or digital camo. It looks like Vapor Max Utility. The same red ones people have been finding at Ross here at Burlington. And the price is uh, $60. So Vapor Max Utility and looks like three pairs. And then here still kicking at sports with the golf shoes. Not sleeping on golf. $20. So Tour Premier, which is a wide uh, React Vapor and Women's Roshi on clearance. 17 bucks. The other one's at 20 Super cheap for those. And uh, what dang, I swear carts at Ross be having some heat. Uh, let me see. Upset or Burlington finds not on here. I sent a ton this week, over 20 pairs of Air Max and the Vapor Max. Vincent. Uh, let me see. Sneaker finds 12. Hustle Crow and Smooth Sailing and TC finds and deals. So Vapor Max, we have size 13, it looks like. This one all the same color, too. Vapor Max 2019. Uh, so Vincent, where did you tag me on IG? So what we do for IG, go to Hustler Hacks. And then if you see your photos on the tag with the little man, 
uh, right there on the side, then for sure I'm going to see it because I import it straight from my IG into that. Now, if you tag me on the text version of your own post, I'm not going to see it. Or if you tagged me today, then it's not going to come out until next week. So um, there we go. If you DM'd me, yes, that one's also going to be tough because there's so many of these DMs that I'd have to go through all of those. That's why I say tag me on the thing so I can get it through IG. And if you see it on there, I'm definitely going to get it. Okay, so Veramax 2019, we talked about all these, all four of them. FC Finds, Smooth Sailing, and Hustle Crow. Next one, A7 Resells and Flip Corey Flip. Incognito re uh, Retail Resellman, Brown Town Finds, and Undercover Reseller. All Vapor Max. We have Utility. We have Flyknit 2s. We have the Multicolor Flyknit 2s. And looks like Flip Corey Flip's already wearing one uh, while finding them. And then let's see, A7 Resells. Talk about that one. What do you feel about this one, though? Smash or pass collection or to resell? It kind of has like a cheetah print on the back. I think we saw this one last week. Maybe only a couple of people found that one. I don't see too many people finding these two colors. This one, we've seen it. Copped multicolor flannets on eBay for 100 shipped. Are you kidding me? Uh, sneaker finds 12. Man, 100 shipped. Uh, people just letting them go. Let me see. Uh, Smash for resale. Got five pairs of the Flyknit Multicolor. Congrats on that one, Vincent. Uh, people giving them away. Sneaker finds 12. Cheetah Print Vapor Max is Fuego for sure. That one, I like it. I think it's something totally different. I mean, we've seen the same colors over and over again. I like when we see different stuff. Smash for resale. Doug the Pug says rookies. And that's it. So we finished out this week. Ultra Boost. Actually, that one's from last week. We should take that one off. DD Discounts didn't come through with anything this week. Um, and Ross, Burlington number one. Marshall's at number three. And for some reason, I forgot to change these. But Marshall's had Timberlands. Ross, we had the Vapor Max that we've seen. And then Burlington also had Vapor Max, but mix it up because we had a Doran Becker in there. Air Max 97s and the 270s. So... Um, all around, not bad, but I do think that uh, Burlington is probably your better bet right now. Ross has been dry for me. Marshalls just came through with something decent recently. Before that, it had been dry for about three weeks, so I wasn't too thrilled about that at all. Had to keep going, and at least we found something. So what's the item code on those Cheetah Vapor Max? Gabriel is asking. Uh, I sold a used pair of multicolor for 139 Man. Uh, also have Vapor Max Utility Tropical, which are fire. Uh, Cheetah sold same day, 300 incognito. That's crazy. Uh, fall update next episode. For sure, we can talk about that. We can also talk about um, some uh, Q4 prep, Q4 tips. Um, I'll get Ken Hustleby, and uh, we can talk about that. Flipping dollar has been rough all North Atlanta and uh, been dry for me a couple of days. Sneaker finds 12 and I'm high price on my Vapor Max. No best offer. Doug the pug. So, but Hey, Vapor Max being out there. No, uh, you know, not bad. Glenn, you mentioned how Kenny gave you that work past week in fantasy. <laughs> Yeah, we don't talk about fantasy. And uh, even, you know what? I talked to Ken yesterday and we didn't even talk about fantasy football at all. My team is so crappy that I had to go deep into the waiver wire. And that's pretty much all I'm at right now. Uh, Florida been nice lately. And let me see, drive from me all year round from Shorty Pat. And I'm at CQ4 so amped. And are you going to go to DC this year? Just plan for 2020. Um, probably 2020 for DC, but I am working. Me and Ken are working for Out Hustled next month, but we don't know yet on the date and location. Well, we do know location, but we're not saying yet, but, um, we're working on the date and I would like to do a meetup for sure. I think we haven't done a meetup in a year. Last one was San Diego. So Okay, uh, are we laugh a lot? 
smash uh, myself so trash right now. Doug the pug. Go cancel an order for me. Uh, let me see. Cancel order on me. Dropped off day three Saturday before Labor Day. Lowered my sell rating. Now they have shoes and I got nothing. I really hope that doesn't happen to me because, man, I got one canceled too. And just for me pressing that I got shipped, it got canceled. I was like, what the hell happened? I had to contact them. And they're like, yeah, it got canceled. And I was like, why? It already got to UPS. I'm hoping they come back because uh, that was like $180 sale. Um, so go and StockX, both of them messing up. One of them's getting hacked. The other one's canceling orders. DC closed until further notice. The district deals. Uh, Florida, Miami signed a petition. Patrick coming to LA uh, from Ricky. Uh, San Diego was the last time we were there for um, California. Um, I went to LA, I think, that was, even then, that was like four months ago. Uh, what shoe was it? It was a um, ISPA uh, React that uh, me and Ken got. And they were selling at like 180. They were like the color was apparently a little bit rare than some of the other ones. And it was a smaller size. I think it was size nine. And man, hopefully, hopefully those get sent back. Cause that's like a, that's like one of those ones you get it back. You can easily sell it. Um, let me see. How's those PJ rock backpacks? Have you sold any? So project rock. Um, I actually sent them all to Amazon. So I only sold one. Then again, I'm not the lowest listed. It's going to take some time. Um, can you do more reseller interviews? And that's the thing. I have only, I've only done two ever or three ever. I haven't done in, in any other interviews. But I did try to uh, contact a couple of people. And there's some logistics that we have to work out. But we can do some interviews. Let's see, he's sitting on all mine. I will try to have you consign them, pay nine dollars, or just ship back, or pay nine dollars or ship back. Um, I don't know. They didn't even say. They just said that. Uh, you know what? I think they said they were just gonna ship them back, but we'll see. Uh, it's been dead for me. Two uh, no pays and one canceled. That's from Tyler. And let's see, cop any finish line Air Max two seventy dusty cactus. They were thirty five dollars. I cop two. Um, I didn't get any, and I think for Ken, they canceled um, so many of his orders on the last one for uh, what finish line. So I guess they're catching on, at least for that one. I don't know how deep he tried getting for all of those, too. Um, I can sign mine, no Al High Hustle. Yes, they just sit in the warehouse, half a Pino. Uh, good question. I'll see when those come in or not come in. Maybe they will be consigned. So... All right, we had a good show today. We went through everything, and remember the weekend releases. Look out for Sakai Waffle. Maybe you're picking up undefeated Kobe's, and maybe even some Jordan 3 Knicks. Who knows? Uh, but appreciated everybody that watched the entire show. We had almost 200 people watching all at once. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to work on the next video, Marshall's Finds, trying to get through all the editing uh, for the Friday video, and then uh, Monday, I have no clue yet. I'm still trying to record, and we'll see what, what uh, video that one's going to be. So, and Jaime, you can email me, and uh, we'll get that. We'll get the uh, gift card sent. So appreciate it, guys, and we'll see you. Go out and get it.